Uh, we've spent our souls. I, th I think we got rid of a lot of the in excess stuff on in our inventory. I don't want any uh, overlap, so let's just sell uh -huh. stuff. I don't like extra stuff in my inventory, so let's take a moment and just get rid of anything extra we might have. And I might throw some stuff in my uh, bottomless box also, because I don't like holding on to this stuff when I have to go through my inventory quickly to pull stuff out. So we're going to continue our fallen Lothric Knight track. Action one. And we're rocking plus five fire Lothric sword. We need six Titanite shards, I think. Large Titanite shards. And we have none <laughs> to be able to uh, to keep this up. Uh, let's go see. I think we have enough small Titanite shards to upgrade our uh, talisman again, though. Ah, well met. Just defeated it's Demon Prince in, in Ring City. Health. Excited to see you get what there. Needs me. Yeah, that's that's... That's tough. I I struggle with that a lot because they're resistant to fire, and I always had a fire weapon, and there's two of them, and it's cool. It's a cool fight. Okay, so shield, no. I suppose we can continue to upgrade our Saint's Talisman. There we go. That means our lightning okay, spear will be, be a, little, a little more powerful. I don't know which talisman I should be using, honestly. I've never done a faith build. Just got back from New York Comic Con, so this stream is a nice, relaxing change of the day. Yeah, those conventions. I went to PAX last year, and it was... uh. What's that this year? I'm getting old. I think it was this year. I went to PAX with Brett and Keith, PAX East, and we had a good time. Uh, okay, so... Again, I'm kind of struggling to think if there's anything I may have skipped that I should have gone back to do, but I, I, think, I think we're good to just get the ball rolling on this playthrough. We've got all the NPCs, I think, where they need to be. We're doing Cirrus' quest. We're doing Henri's quest. Hey, Jesper. Thanks for joining us again. Oh, you have a yogurt allergy? No! <laughs> I did a small PAX video. Well, we did a podcast from PAX. All the other ones were just stupid jokes. Well, they were supposed to be jokes. I don't know if people actually thought they were funny or not. But, uh... <laughs> Sometimes they don't all land. All right, we're heading into the catacombs of Karthus this time. Hi, Jay. When will you upload yesterday's stream with Map Arena? So there are four maps. We're going to release them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week. We're going to release Map Arena five times a week. That's the plan. So we're rocking this silly fire longsword. Uh, I'd like to change the transfusion. I may dip over into, into sharp... And that's partly because I'm really disappointed that our, the Blessed Gem doesn't also do lightning damage. I thought it would, and it doesn't. So until we can get the coal to infuse a lightning gem, and we don't have a lightning gem either. All right. Mr. Roly-Poly. So these are big, big bad skeletons. Got him. Oh, almost fell. I was going to say, are we going to get souls or what? So you could hop down there. We're just going to take this normal path through this area. So that we can pick up everything. And we can also find Henri down here. So I'd like to do that. Obligatory. Ah, skeletons. In honor of you, I'm rocking a lightning weapon. Yeah, I mean, I think lightning is great. Most, I mean, most bosses are weak to lightning. There's only one or two bosses that are resist, like outright resistance. Like, if they're not weak to it, at least they're not resistant to it. Oh, Jesus. Let's not draw the other one. Let's get out of here and pull this one back. All right, that was a lucky backstab. All right, I don't like that there are two of them. Please. Almost got him. I got I have to kill one of these. Or I can fall. Is this the weak one? Oh, he died. Okay. He died from fall damage. I like that. I'm not above fishing for backstabs. Speaking of skeletons, any Halloween plans? Uh well, I'm 30. Um that, that's not really a good preface to this. What I'm going to say is I'm 30 years old, and um, I've been to my share of great Halloween parties, but we live in an area now, uh, and a lot of our friends have moved across the country where uh, we don't really go out and like party for Halloween, but that's also just 
you know, we're just not big going out to the club kind of people at 30. But regardless, um, I think it was two years ago, we're like, okay, we're going to start handing out candy for Halloween. Because, like, we're adults, and we live in a place with some kids, so let's get a bowl of candy. And we had maybe three people come to our door. So I think it's just the people around here don't really... They just don't really do the trick-or-treating. So I'm like, fine. Every year now, we just we pick a, a scary film, and we buy a bunch of candy, and we eat it ourselves. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! I saw him doing that parry. Hey, Robert. Now, we, you didn't miss anything. We, we literally just walked into... We just, we just walked into the catacombs of Karthus. So we'll do our typical full clear of the area as best we can. Soul of a nameless soldier. We have to remember to always keep a single soul of a nameless soldier with us because we took that as our burial gift. And we're... We're doing some silly pretending that that was our... That was our best friend. Our fellow Lothric Knight. Okay, so this is all cleared out. There's a couple ways to go down here. Oh, actually, no, we don't want to go this way just yet. Let's go get Henri first, and then we'll backtrack and go a different way, which will eventually circle back to where we've been. I am very concerned. So who's been playing along, I saw? Um, that was, uh... That was Paradise, right? So you would know, and anyone else who's played, we're, we're coming up onto the old Demon King who is very resistant to fire, and we have a fire weapon. So I'm gonna have to change our transfusion for that. There's no way we're gonna be able to continue that way. Here's Henri. Oh, hello. How very fortunate. Have you seen my companion, Horace? To my shame, I was snared by a trap, and we've become separated. I've not been able to find him since. Yes, I see. Horace is a valiant knight. He can look after himself, no question. He's probably searching for me right now, with twice the resolve. If you happen upon him, please tell him that I remain in the catacombs and will lay prism stones to guide him, as always. Please send him my word, I beg of you. May the flames guide your way. Okay, so Horus is missing. A bleed weapon for Demon King is the best. If you happen upon Horus, that I keep made of. Okay, so Horus is missing. Henri is perturbed by this. You can come out here. I think there's a crystal. Yeah, crystal lizard. Let's go. Ow. Okay. Stop shooting at me. Uh, I have some twin blades that are probably good for bleed damage, but they're not upgraded, and I don't have enough Titanite to upgrade them. So I think I'll just change my transfusion to, like, a sharp or a refined gem. That should that should probably work fine. Because, I, I mean, I would just level up a different weapon. That makes the most sense, and I, I, I feel silly changing a transfusion on a weapon. But alas, I think that's what we're going to have to do. Uh, so I'm going to go up this way and back around, because I think eventually going the other way will come up through that hallway right there. Pretty sure. Miss parts of the first room. What build is he aiming for? So we're currently building Faith. I was hoping to do a Lightning Infuse, but that's not really going to work out. Um, yeah, Karthus Rouge would work just fine as well. The issue with that is that I, uh, I need a normal Transfuse weapon. You can't apply Karthus Rouge on a Fire weapon. Uh, so I plan on doing, like, a Chaos Dark build, or maybe Lightning at the end of the game. I didn't realize you couldn't do a Lightning Infuse until way later. I thought a Blessed Gem would at least remove scaling and give you some... Uh, give you some Lightning Damage, similar to, like, a Simple Gem does for Magic Damage, and Fire Gem does for Fire Damage, and Raw does for Physical Damage, but it doesn't do that. Lightning actually does not have an equivalent, unfortunately. Oh, nice. So any skeletons that have white eyes, they respawn. Just to point out. I don't actually know where I am right now. I don't remember this. Oh, nice. 
So if I if I change to a a raw gem, uh, not a raw gem. I'm sorry. If I change to a refined or a sharp gem infusion, then I could also use Karthus Rouge. And I think that'll be what we'll do for the Demon King. But I've, And then eventually I plan on changing my infusion back to probably Chaos once we have Chaos available. And there's a sharp gem, which is perfect timing because I've been talking about it. And I think now we have two. These guys like to jump around. If you can just catch them, you can stagger them pretty easily. But they have these scythes that tend to... Oh, boy. They have these scythes that tend to go through shields. Scythes tend to go through shields in general in Dark Souls, and they bleed you, so... Soul of a Proud Knight 3. Has combat system improved, or is it worse now? I think it's about the same. I mean, I think it's... it's Each game has been an improvement on itself in terms of the, the combat system. 2 was a little wonky, admittedly, but it was still fun. Okay, so now we can actually take a little bit of a shortcut... Those uh, skeletons that were shooting us are down here. So we can hop down on top of them. And there's an item we can get here also. I guess I thought I saw an item on one of these. Whoa! Get out of here. All right. Uh, actually, this shortcut is a little too far from where I want to be. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to backtrack a little bit, which is okay. There's a strange ball of corpses that roll back and forth, and it's controlled by this guy, who actually was just killed by his own ball of corpses. So that's good. It's gonna roll back down here again. It should. And now that the guy with the pirate hat is dead, it's gonna explode. Kablam! So let's grab this. Undead Bone Shard. Okay, so we're actually at a point now. You can see the bonfire in there, but we can't get to it. There's a broken lever. Uh, where we're going to want to backtrack and continue going the way we were going. Because I, uh... Obviously, there's more stuff to get, and I left some stuff behind, so... Skeletons only want to socialize. <laughs> There are my souls. Let's go get them. We really weren't that far, and we just got killed by the guy with the scythe. Ow! They throw these kukiris. These guys are all about bleed damage. But again, they stagger decently. But if you get bled, you're probably dead. Ha <laughs> ha! What a... What a rhyme. If you get bled, you're probably dead. What's this? Someone is firing upon me. That's the skeleton behind the illusory wall, I think. That's fine. We'll just run by him. So we got a pyromancy tome we can give to our pyromancer. And we have undead bone dust that we're going to want to go and burn. Um, this was the illusory wall, I think. But I'm just going to go through here again to make sure. Yeah, pretty sure. Alrighty. So, we came through here. This leads back, which means... Yeah, so this is how it would have connected. I came from the other direction, actually. Exemplifying how it connects. Thank you for the suggestion with the bleed weapon, though. I didn't know that for Old Demon King. Uh, so again, I'll do a sh I'll do sharp damage and then bleed with Karthus Rouge. I think they nerfed they've nerfed Karthus Rouge a few times. It's re it's a really really good weapon application. Wait, this is where Henri was. I think we have to go the other way. Too many skeletons. This way? No, that's where we came in. Am I am I losing my mind? No, we have to go back up the stairs, that's why. There's nothing else down here. 
We want to get back to where that broken gate was. That's now we can actually progress because we've done everything else to do. In fact, I picked the wrong way to go to do that, unfortunately. Oh, he's going to do a big spin. <laughs> I love that. The skeletons have such a huge delay to their attacks. Ah! There's too many. I've been I've been swinging away. I don't have any stamina. Do you plan on playing Dark Souls 4? If it exists, I would play it. <laughs> there is no Dark Souls 4, unfortunately. Alrighty. That's how we would have come in. That's where the crystal lizard was, I think. What weapon am I using? This is the, uh... God damn it. It's the, uh, the Lothric Night Sword. And the Lothric Night Shield. I feel like I've gone the wrong way again. <laughs> How do I get to that one ramp where the thing was rolling? Yes, yeah, see, now we're back here. I feel slightly lost. Let's kill this gentleman. Because there's an item to get. Now we're going to start stacking up so many Titanite shards, we're not even going to know what to do with them. I just met this lap guy in Ring City, wonder who he is? <laughs> That's a great quest, make sure you follow up on that. That's one of the best. Oh, it's it's this, it's right here. I thought this was just a cliff, but it's not. <laughs> you love how the arrows stay for quite a while in this game? Yeah, it's awkward running around with a big arrow poking out of your head. Okay, now we can actually progress through the catacombs. That was unfortunate. Again, just remember these white-eyed ones will come back. Thank you for the iframes from the backstabs. That's something they changed in Dark Souls 2 that then brought back in Dark Souls 3, which is... You had, like, hyper armor while doing it in, in Dark Souls 2? But in this game, it's just, uh, you're just invulnerable for a period of time. So these small, these small jars turn into those little humanity sprites and just, and uh, come and hit you if you break them. So obviously you want to avoid doing that if possible. Hmm. This should work. God damn it. Okay. It can start a chain reaction. You try to roll away from one and then you break a bunch more. Karthus Milk Ring. Don't actually. Oh dear. Oh dear. See? 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 <laughs> it's a chain reaction. Rapier S stock build? I could do the, I mean, I could do the. I could try the Irithyll Rapier. I want to have a frost weapon ready. Irithyll Rapier might be great. Can't wait for the Pontiff boss. I've never actually fought Pontiff by myself on New Game, only on New Game uh, Plus. Because I summoned in Keith to help me on New Game. So it's, it's going to be a challenge, I think, for me. Oh, that's right. We're Blue Sentinels. So every so often we'll get summoned in to be the police. I did not do an S-Stock build in DS1. I actually did a... Um, I, I used Baldur's Side Sword. I did Baldur's Side Sword, so... 
Where's the host? Is that a lightning greatsword? Lightning a store a greatsword, I think? Ooh, nice! I should've just ran to the host. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I had Baldur's Side Sword in the first game, and then, um... I feel like this is kind of the spiritual spiritual successor of that with how I'm what I'm rocking right now. Oh, it said beware of trap. <laughs> we get to lure these guys back to the trap. Wait, did I not kill this guy? Or were there two? Oh. Let's walk back to the trap. Excellent. No! <laughs> it resets. It's not a one-time thing. Do the dancer now. Yeah, people were asking me to do that right after... Um, right after we killed Vort. couple different ways to go. Down there we'll get to eventually and fight one of the worst NPCs in the whole goddamn game. Oh, he's terrible. Uh, let's be gentle here. And draw these guys back to fight them one at a time. Okay, the other one's turning around. Yeah, a lot of problems with lightning attacks. So do we probably... How do you properly defend against lightning attacks? Your lightning defense is based on your... Your lightning defense is based on your endurance. Let's not step on this again. So the higher your endurance, the higher your lightning defense will be. But if you... I mean, otherwise, there's really not much you can do about it, unfortunately. Uh, I don't think there's any other way to go, so I'll continue. Avoid the trap again. Okay, this is just a pit, so we're going to walk around this delicately. We'll get down there eventually. What's my view on the Irithyll Straight Sword? Uh, it kind of goes along with my view on, on frost damage in general, is that, the, is that frost damage doesn't scale, and I wish it did. I don't know why it doesn't. But because frost damage doesn't scale with anything, it makes it feel lackluster. And you can't transfuse over it. And you can't buff it. So, unfortunately, I feel like the, the Irithyll frost weapons just... They can't really stand up to the test of time. Hey, Cone00. Oh, it's Adriano. Hello, Adriano. Yes, yeah, Sorg. That's who I'm talking about, Paradise. He's terrible. <laughs> Hey, Steven. You know, I have Lightning Spear, and I have not really been using it, and I should. Alright, there's another one of these things. Uh, let's just wait here and wait for it to come back. For these weird little corpse balls, you have to find the skeletons that are wearing little hats. Little cute hats, and if you kill them, then, they, then these things explode. Right. I guess I'll try to kill Sorig now before we try to clear out the whole area because Sorig very likely will kill me at least once. So we might as well give it a shot. Nice. Some crunchies. Some of those crunchies. So Sorig will spawn if you run down here. And let's run back. And we can lightning spear him. This guy has Fume Knight. He's, he, he's got the Fume Knight Ultra Sword. Okay, that does nothing. <laughs> I 
And I'm just gonna take my time with this guy. Because once he starts swinging, again, it, he, he can kill me probably in one or two hits. And the first hit will probably stun me. He also's got that ultra great sword, uh, hyper armor. So you have to make sure that you're okay for a full hit before you go for it. Alright. Sorry, I'm focusing a little bit here. Damn it. I use as much I mean it's not it's not worth not using Estus against this guy. He's he's rough. Take some hits and then back out. We're doing okay. The slightest mistake though, and this guy will kill me. <laughs> as I've said. On the plus side, I don't think he can parry with that shield, so we don't have to worry about that. We could just R1 spam him to death. Oh, why did I why did I try to take a hit there? Not like this, Sorig. Or blob. Kill the blob. Okay. There we go. That's our opening. Wow! Okay. We got Sorig. The power of experience. We get the my thanks gesture. Typically, he kills you a lot and he does the my thanks gesture. <laughs> Which weapon are you aiming to go with main? I think I'm going to stick with this. This is one of the most versatile straight swords in the whole game. Call up Azo and have him be a guardian for me. <laughs> he did play a lot of this game. Tricky little, tricky little blobs. Wow, that was really lucky that those somehow I didn't get killed by those or landed on by those. I would have expected to get hit by those. All right, wheelies, wheelie boys. Oh. No! Ah. Oh. It's not the time to get caught by blobs when they, when we got wheelie boys on the field. This may be the only place in the whole game that these the wheel skeletons even are. Motherfucker, get out of there. I feel like our lightning spear does virtually zero damage. Is that just me? Or I'm just attacking things that happen to be uh, happen to be immune. Not immune, but resistant to it. Nope, nope. Our fire sword's good for the blobs at least. All right, wheelie boys. I'm just coming down here. I think there's some stuff to pick up, that's all. That's not really good damage at all. That's really, really terrible. That's really unfortunate. The wheels aren't nearly as aggressive in this game as they had been in the past, that's for sure. They're a lot slower and easier to dodge. Sorg is very dangerous when he two-hands his weapons. Yeah, because he can just pancake you. And then it's death. Ah. Not today, skeleton men. I think I missed a bonfire. I need to go and pick that up. Or did I, did I light the bonfire? No, I think I ran past it. We need to go back and get that. Oh, was reading the chat? Did not see you, Mr. Sludge Man. Hezathan the Eternal Guardian? Yeah, I'll ask him. We could play this game together. I've been playing it up to Deltrin, saying that he needs to try uh, the first one, the first game, remastered now. So I think he's going to try that just by himself. I wish I could re-experience Undead Berg for the first time. Those were the days. Okay, a couple different ways to go here. First, let's kill Skeleton Man. Ske Skeleton Man! There's a weapon that is just two doors. Yeah, Asathen was rolling with that for a while, I think. Cool. 
Kukri. All right, so we want... Well, we can go through here now, but we're gonna go. We, we're gonna go back. There's more stuff to do. This crystal lizard will go through the the wall and die. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just a known bug. It should die though, and we'll get the yeah fire gem. So if we ever want to reinfuse fire, there we go. I was gonna say, did he not die? All right. So we ultimately want to be coming this way, and we gotta cross that bridge. That's where we're going at the end of the day. But for now, we're just backtracking a bit. Okay, we've been invaded. He's on the bridge, which means I can do this. Oh, I should use a seed. Why did I do that? I didn't think they would all spawn at once. <laughs> I don't have it on my hotbar. This guy has lapse armor, which means he's already played the ring city, and I'm being invaded by him. <laughs> he has a poison weapon. Ooh, he missed his riposte. But yeah, it's very fun getting getting hit by twinks early. There there you go, buddy. There's your riposte. Jay, are you a pancake or waffle guy? I don't know. I don't think I really have a preference, to be honest. Okay, no, we did light this bonfire. That's good. Because we're right by where we were. We already collected a lot of the loot in the direction that we needed to go. And we don't have to worry about Sorg anymore, thankfully. So we just don't need to Ember for now. Uh, let's go and find the guy that's running this little corpse ball, because it drops some loot once we pick it up. As you can tell, I'm not quite spec for PvP. Uh, not really. I, I tried to PvP a little bit just for fun, but again, I'm not really spec for it, so it has not really been going too well. One of these is, an, one of these is a, an illusory wall, I thought. Alright, let's kill this guy again. That was a nice flip. No! Get out of here, rat! You fool. See, now we have more Titanite shards than we know what to do with. I might upgrade a bow. And we got our souls back. 31,000 souls. That's no joke. I guess let's... I'm just gonna clear all this out now. So you, you saw I cut the bridge. You can cut the bridge. It would have been cool if I did that early enough that he would have either fallen or gotten trapped on the other side. Oh, don't fall. Okay. But we can open up a little shortcut here. Again, it's one of those shortcuts that exists, but is not really used, I don't think. Jay Marino, question. Between you doing boss rush or player rush fights, which one would you prefer to do them? Boss rush, you mean like PvP versus PvE, sort of? Because I would definitely choose the, uh, the boss rush, personally. Okay, we're back here. That's where the skeletons, that's where the skeleton wheels were. Another rat. Unfortunately, my 45 minute long 15 minute break is over. Well, hey, enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully you're getting home soon. I 
swear one of these is an illusion. It is, okay. I think it just leads up to the same spot, but I think in a better location to engage enemies in. Got some ashes. Nice. Looks like if we can stun him, then you can wait for some endurance or stamina to come back, and then you can get him. Oh. Oh, it's because he had white eyes. Even this guy came back. Okay. I keep hitting the flippin' wall! Oh, God. Ah. I ricocheted off the wall too many times. Damn, I, we died twice down here. Not looking too good. We also have bone dust to burn, and we have ashes. I'm just kind of waiting for a good time to go back to Firelink to do that. I guess we'll wait for my... I'll uh, go get my souls again. If I can beat this thing down here. I tried. It was worth it. He killed the rats for one Estus. And we're going right back up there. It's just these guys... are pretty strong. Mostly because of the bleed. Otherwise, they're not really that hard to avoid. I ricocheted off those fucking gravestones. <laughs> Stop it, Jay Barina. What are you doing? Joel also leaving. You have a good night as well. Good day slash night, depending on where you are in the world. You all have a good one. Hello, friend. I've killed you once before. I have to kill you twice more now for you to actually pass away. Oh, okay. See you later. Oh, poor guy. There. I moved for you so that you had some pathing towards me. I guess let's just wait. Because we know he's going to come back. There we go. So they're staggering like that, I think because I have a fire weapon, or at least they're staggering a little more easy, easily because I have a fire weapon. So that's pretty darn good. There might be a trap here, I'm not sure. Maybe not. So there's a couple of these guys. <laughs> totally unnecessary, but sure. Whoa! No stamina. Anytime you find yourself panic rolling, you're like, oh god, I'm dead. <laughs> well, Jay, there are skeletons. You're absolutely right. Thanks, Joel. You also have a good day. There's the guy with the hat. Goodbye, my friend. Alright. So that's that over there, we've been through there already, so we don't need to worry about that. So again, we're doing our typical let's be super thorough. Also, for some reason, there's a crab inside of that thing that rolls. How strange. Drops a dark gem, so we could, if we want, spec into dark damage. Though a lot of PvE... Wow, a blooming, a blooming clump. That's great. A lot of PvE bosses are immune to uh, dark, surprisingly. Not immune, but at least uh, resistant to it. <laughs> Don't give up, skeletons! Classic. Oh, I have to kill these guys again. The fact that a straight sword just doesn't use that much that much stamina is just so it's so good. Got him. This guy's like an elite, 
I mean, I'll, they all have red eyes, but like this one in particular seems stronger. I'm not sure what that's about. Kukri. Uh, okay, so as soon as we step on- Oh, shit. Hang on. No. Reset them. <laughs> reset them. So as soon as you step on the bridge, all those skeletons spawn. But I don't want to spawn the skeletons yet. Because there's an NPC to talk to before we cross the bridge. So let's see if this actually resets them totally or not. As not being spawned. Logging into Dark Souls 3 game server. I'll wait. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, give me a second then. While I respond to a message. Did it work? Okay, we're back in. Don't give up, skeleton. Okay, no. So there, they've reset. So, we're gonna go up here. Hello, my friend. Ah, oh, hello. We meet again. Have you seen Horus anywhere? Oh yes, I see. I've searched high and low with no luck. Perhaps he's left the catacombs. Oh, Horace, where have you run off to? Oh, Horace, where have you run off to? So actually... Have you abandoned me? You no. can see him down there. What that, a horrible thought. The, I think the idea is that he fell and he's just down there now. Um... So we have a way to go and, and, and find him, and then we can report back to Henri. <sighs> okay. Uh, so we know the skeleton spawn, so we're going to run across the bridge. Here they come, and then we cut the bridge. <laughs> and we get a ton of souls for it, too. Cool. So, at this point, this is actually a secret path. You can descend the ladder and head down to where Horus is, uh, which is a whole other area with its own boss, or we progress and we beat the boss of the catacombs. I'm just going to go ahead and beat the boss of the catacombs first. And then we'll backtrack and go to that other area. And it's a huge difficulty spike, because it's an optional and semi-hidden area. With a very it, The boss, I think, is, can be tricky. Depending on when you do it. Okay. And this boss is quite strange also. This boss is the most spooky boss you will face. I love the intro to this boss. Ah! <laughs> Just a big creep. Big skeleton creep. Go for the golden shiny things. His weakness is the jewels. So he sprays out some poison that can kill you quite fast. This 
is one of the easiest bosses in the game, but he's just he's just real strange and interesting. It's kind of like uh like the tree. Like it's 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 memorable and interesting, but it's not hard at all. Okay, so you don't want to let him get up too far because if he does, then he starts spraying curse. Come on, there we go. That curse cloud, if you get too close to him, does it'll kill you like very quick. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I actually think he doesn't attack with his other hand now that we've gotten the other two, so we may have made this harder for ourselves. This is one of those bosses where you don't want to lock on because it's very hard then to keep track of where his... Fine. Basic logic. Hitting the jewelry kills the boss. Yeah. Right. Let's just go for it. As long as we're not directly in the cloud, then I'm confident. Come on. There we go. Goodbye, my friend. Not too bad. What? Where did that come from? Hey Jay, what Dark Souls game is the giant wolf fight? Yeah, that's Dark Souls 1. Yeah, it's like you touch a goblet and you get enveloped by darkness and have to fight a giant skeleton. That makes a lot of sense. I think the idea is that Woolner was consumed by the Abyss at some point, so you get sucked into the Abyss to fight him. So it's a good thing we didn't infuse Dark, because we would have had trouble against him. Just hit all his bling bling and he will cry. 